everybody, John Van Dyke here from New Jersey Exposed. Today is Monday, August 10th, 2021. Time is 6.34. All right, well, you're gonna like this story here. Uh, this is reported on uh, Fox News, foxnews.com, and, and it reads as follows. Former Minnesota trooper who sent himself nude photos of a woman he arrested is sentenced to probation. So this is a Blue Zero Hero sentence story. And let's see, we got a date on this one here. I'm not getting the date on it. Well, they're not showing me the date readily, but I know it's recently of this date here. Okay, so uh, well, here it is right here, just so you can see it. There it is. All right, let's find out what this fine, upstanding, well-trained, dedicated, professional hero always out risking our lives. Remember that people, they're always risking our lives. They have a dangerous job, okay? But they're there protecting the government. Let's find out what this one has been up to. I kind of read part of the story, so I know some of it. A former Minnesota state trooper who looked at who took a woman's cell phone after she crashed her car, then text nude photos of her to his personal phone, was sentenced to two years of probation Tuesday, the Star Tribune reported. Albert Cuny, 37, responded to a crash in March 2020 and detained a driver, a 25-year-old woman, on suspicion of DWI, according to a criminal complaint. As Cooney led the vehicle to his squad car, he ordered her to give him her phone. See, now, I would not give the cop my phone. Go F yourself. I'm not giving you my phone. You're going to have to physically take it from me. Not giving it to you. I'm not giving you evidence to incriminate me. Uh, later, uh, the victim was being treated... Uh, he ordered her to give him her phone. Later, while the victim was being treated by paramedics, Cuny sent three photos to himself from her phone that show the victim either nude or partially nude, the complaint states. Well, that's a lesson learned, people. Do not leave naked pictures of you or anybody on your phone. You never know when some cop is going to stop you and take your phone from you. Oh, let's see. Cuny deleted records of the message from her phone, but the victim's boyfriend noticed on her MacBook, which is connected to the iPhone, that the pictures were sent to an unknown number. Well, once again, a camera, though indirectly, <laughs> caught a bad cop. The victim's boyfriend contacted the unknown phone number, and the person on the end of the call eventually identified themselves as the defendant the complaint states. The victim then called a lawyer to report the incident, and the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension started an investigation. CUNY was originally charged with two felony counts of harassment with bias, but pleaded guilty in June to non-consensual dissemination of private sexual images, a gross misdemeanor. I would like to apologize to the victim for being caught. I'm sorry that I got caught. I won't do this again, uh, Cuny said Tuesday during his sentencing, according to KTSP. I regret that I got caught, and now you know what, that you found out that I took the pictures and sent them to myself, and I take full responsibility for my actions. All right, well, there you go. So this is a little short story. You had a state trooper who got caught. He, you, he says, give me your phone. I know why he wanted that phone. He wants to look at that phone and see if she was on the phone talking or text messages. Uh-uh. I'm not giving you my phone. It's not happening, brother. Not happening. You're going to get that. You're going to have to get a search warrant. You want that phone from me. So he goes and he looks in the phone. Now he's snooping around looking at the pictures and lo and behold, he finds the nude ones of her and sends them to himself. I guess he's gonna have a little party with himself in the uh, patrol car. Mm. 
check the mic and make sure it sound right. Well, boy. looks like he's gonna be home having a party with himself because uh, he doesn't have a job now, thank goodness. So, all right, we'll put the link in the description. You can uh, read the full story yourself. Till next time, people.